Everesting, a fiendishly simple concept. Pick a hill, any hill, and ride up it, down it, until you reach the cumulative height of Mount Everest, 8,848 meters. And for most cyclists, this ridiculous challenge is enough of a struggle in itself. But for others, well, others like Max Stedman, they try and do it faster than any human has ever done it before. Break the Everest world record. And that's exactly what Max is trying to do today and we're filming it. At the time of making this video, the current record is seven hours and four minutes set by Ronan McLaughlin in Ireland. Max Stedman is aiming to beat this and break the seven hour mark. He's come to Crocom Hill in the Quantock Hills of England. Crocom is a savage climb that averages 14.7% and is 26% at its steepest. Max is, however, not riding the full climb. He's isolated a middle section that averages 17%, but still has that max 26%. It also removes some turns at the top and the bottom, which would otherwise slow him down. In order to reach the height of Everest, Max will have to do this climb 60 times. 60! It's 8.30 a.m. and I'm gonna go and have a chat with him before he sets off. Max, 9 a.m. Your attempt's about to start. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's a bit weird. It's not like a race. Like, I can just start whenever I want. So it's actually, <laughs> it's, it's a bit odd in that sense. But yeah, good, good. I think it'll be, I definitely think it's possible. Having spoken to a few people now, you also believe it's possible. I reckon it's just a case of holding it all together. Been weird, can't train for it much without putting yourself in a mass, like you try and simulate this, you just end yourself for a couple of weeks. So I've just been doing quite a bit of endurance and top end, top it off and then, yeah, taper and end. So legs feeling, feeling decent, I reckon. So what's the, what's the furthest you've done as a training ride prior to doing this? Done a few six hours, but nothing of this intensity or, or length, but I've done quite a bit of like hard climbing rides essentially obviously not 9,000 meters but 3,000 meters over a few hours and you've reconned like this hill yeah i've done an hour test up it and i've done a half everest up it as well a few weeks ago so i've already ridden it 40 times technically only another 20 would be easy yeah you're feeling confident then, yeah like, yeah right? i reckon we'll see i'll tell you in six hours whether i'm feeling confident <laughs> And what, have, uh, what, what, what do you have for breakfast on the morning of an Everest? I've attempt? eaten a lot of rice the last, the last day or so. Um, today I just had poached eggs on some English muffins and then big bowl of rice, essentially. Protein and carbs, pretty basic, and some hydration salts as well in the morning. Nice. Well, all the best, man. I'll Cheers. let you uh, get on with your warm up and, uh, and get cracking. Yeah, let's give it a go. You starting now? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so Max, Everesting world record attempt underway. Oh, Max seems really relaxed and confident about his chances here today, which is really exciting because I mean, it'd be amazing to, to see him actually break the record. So I really hope he can do it. It's just such an incredible feat of uh, human endurance. But he's got an interesting strategy and um, you know quite a lot of sort of things that he's thought about in order to help him try and break the record. So his nutrition's particularly interesting. He's got friends and family here to support him for various things, but here he's taking a bottle every lap and having a swig of some energy drink or water and then getting rid of the bottle so he doesn't have to carry that weight up the steep climb every time. He doesn't have a bottle cage on his bike. Also, he's taking a bar every three reps uh, or, or laps um, or so. And then he's also gonna move on to gels later on into the event, which will hopefully be less than seven hours. As he mentioned earlier, he has done recon on this climb and done a half Everesting. And from that, one of the things he's learned is the exact length of the rep and his breaking point. And he's actually marked out his breaking point 
further up there just before this, this runoff section. Um, so he knows where to hit the brakes every time because he wants to go as fast on this descent as possible. He's actually, he's told me, he's reaching over 100 kilometers per hour on this really steep and straight descent. It's quite scary to watch, but he's a professional. He knows what he's doing. And then he's got the, the lap marked out where he turns around and then lapses Wahoo every time as he sets back off up the climb. In the event of any mechanical problems, he's got full mechanic support over there, ready to, to fix things and spare wheels, and a complete spare bike that's ready to go in its easiest gear, 36, 32, so that he can jump on it and head straight up the hill without any problems. But every, I mean, everyone looks pretty relaxed, doesn't look like. I don't think they think they're gonna be needed. <laughs> Fifteen reps completed now for Max, and he's looking good. His dad's giving him time checks at the top, and he reckons he's about four minutes ahead of the world record. So... This climb, oh man, it is really steep. Max is coming up now at the steepest bit. This is 25% and he's about 4,000 meters into the challenge now. You know, he's approaching the halfway mark. Come on, Max, You're killing it. And uh, you know, I, I can tell you, this is a really tough challenge. It really starts to bite, especially uh, as you get towards the back end of it. But I think a real challenge on gradients this steep, which is much steeper than what I did it on, is, is the sort of core strength in your back, because that, I'd imagine, is really gonna start to ache after doing so many reps on just such steep gradients. He's coming now on the descent, stretching his back out. Whew. He's flying, absolutely flying down that descent. <laughs> So Paul, Max's dad, yep. have to ask you, can he do it? Well, I hope so. I, well, we had to get up very early for this. There's a key team out of here, people supporting. So yeah, we really hope he can do it. He's almost like a metronome doing seven minutes per lap, which would give him a time of about 6.50 in the end, but current records 7.04. So, I mean, he did actually say to me on one of his turns here, he said I'm 14 minutes up, so he knows exactly where he is. Uh, if he's feeling good, I'll imagine he'll accelerate a little, maybe five or ten seconds per lap like he did when he did the half, but that'll depend obviously on uh, how the body's holding up to it. Max is approaching the halfway point now and he's 15 minutes up on the world record set by Ronan McLaughlin, which is incredible. Hopefully he can keep this up and he won't start to, you know, won't crack and, and lose that pace when the, the efforts really starts to bite in the second half. But, you know, many of you will be wondering, who is Max Stedman? Well, he's a professional cyclist for the UCI Continental Team Canyon DHB PB Soarine, and he's a pure climber. He's 24 years old and weighs just 52 kilograms. He's had success in stage races. He's been a twice winner of the uh, tour of uh, Zhangzhou uh, Lake in China. And he's also recently this year won the tour of Antalya in Turkey. I think this might be harder though. <laughs> I mean, I like, I like to think I'm pretty fit, but <laughs> this climb is awful. I'm just, I'm getting out of breath just walking up it. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh man. Come on, come on, keep it up. 
This is Max's uh, spare bike that he's got ready for the attempt should he have a problem. And there's some pretty cool details that he's done on the bike that he's using his main bike. And I'm gonna tell you all about them in a separate video that's gonna go up on the tech channel. So for that bike check, make sure you check that out because there's some really interesting bits of tech uh, that have gone on. And also, well, I mean, even his spare bike, it's pretty light. Yeah, oh, smash it, Max. Oh. To give Max a bit of an ego boost, I'm going to uh, ride up the climb with him on his next ascent. This will also hopefully give me an appreciation of how hard this climb is and also the kind of effort that Max is putting in on every single lap. <sighs> I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep up with him for one lap. <laughs> well, let's try. Come on, Go on bud. Woo! Keep it up, bud. He's really in a dark place right now. He's got sort of 16 laps to go and he's struggling so much. His lap times are actually starting to go out and he's losing a load of time on the world record, but he's still under world record pace. We've just done the maths and, you know, even if he continues to do 30 second a lap slower than what he was um, doing when he set out, he's, he's still on to smash the world record, which is astounding but I'm just keen to try and communicate that to him now because I'm worried that he's, uh, that, you know, he's just struggling mentally so much. It's such a hard challenge. Like, having done one myself, I have some idea of the pain he's going through, but I never did anything at the pace that he's doing it. It's just another level and it's, in, it's inspiring to watch, but also, man, oh. The world record still stands at seven hours and four minutes. And Max may have sadly missed out on this target, but when the dust had settled and the attempt had been ratified, his time was officially 7.32, which is still incredibly fast and the fourth fastest Everesting ever. And a new British record. Well done, Max. <laughs> How are you feeling, man? Yeah, pretty, um, bleep. Yeah, <laughs> censoring yourself, <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely nailed. That was by far the hardest thing that I've ever done. Yeah. Um, it was like a little bit of naivety on the gearing, I think, on my front. Yeah, like, I think you'd go easier. Yeah, the 36, 32 was good, as it pushed me to go pretty fast that first half, but then once I couldn't like, maintain that cadence. I was literally doing like 50 RPM. It's getting to the point where I was basically almost, well, you rode with me, I was like almost standing still. On that steepest yeah. bit at the top. Like I couldn't, couldn't do anything. So if Quick you did it change. again, you'd go 34. Oh, maybe lower, maybe one to one ratio. I reckon just, just in case, just to have that little. Fair play like, though, mate. I, mean, I was, that is, I, honestly, seriously like impressive heroic effort and like, just to have the mental strength, I think, to keep going. Yeah, when to you... be honest, I, I almost definitely got off, but I was yeah. like... What kept you going? Uh, stubbornness, I don't know, yeah. In fact, everyone's come out <laughs> and, like, supported me. I just thought, you know, the least I can do is just do the Everest at, like, the bare minimum. Yeah. You know? Um, so, so the British record is a consolation, not by much. It's a blooming good consolation <laughs> yeah, prize, yeah, though. Yeah, like, yeah. You, I mean, you know, come on, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. So yeah, but cheers to you guys and like everyone here and Canyon, like mega sport. Um, yeah. Couldn't have done it without them basically. 
and you know, maybe, maybe next year we'll give the world record another crack. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. You heard it here first. Chogo didn't break two first yeah. time. Ronan McLaughlin didn't get the world record first time. There so. you go. Yeah. You say, you say Bolt probably didn't do his first hundred meters and get one. Well <laughs> so. I think that's I think that's for definite. Yeah. yeah so you know you got you got to look at these things. Yeah. You learn a lot about yourself, don't you, Dean? Oh Some yeah. 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 Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, and I think if anyone gives this a thumbs down, then they're mental. <laughs> <laughs> but like, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and just for Max, this heroic effort, and yeah, that's all I've got to say. <laughs> it's amazing. That's oh. a wrap. <laughs>